Many of the prophets in the revealed books lived to an age which we may find unusually long compared with the age to which we see people reaching nowadays. Um, why is this and what can we learn from this? Got it? Um, Would you repeat, please? <coughs> the prophets from uh, earlier times, they, they often reached a very low, uh, old age. Um, like in the Bible, for example, it sometimes says that some prophet became oh. 500 and something years. And um, in the Quran, there was one verse where it says that um, Nuhab came very long. So um, how is it that these people could reach such an old age, and why can ordinary people not reach an age like this? You see, the Holy Quran has ans an answer to all this. These prophets lived under some divine law that is called Sharia. And the age of their Sharia is mentioned in those years, not their personal age. Mm. So it, God has made it clear by giving the example of Hazrat Noha that he lived for 950 years. Now it has to be his age because Abraham, Hazrat Ibrahim was 60 years of Oh, 60 years old by the time Noah should have died. So it means both should have met. It's impossible that Hazrat Noah was alive, was alive while Abraham was born and everything had become idolater. Idolatry had covered the whole world. It's impossible. What was Noah doing if idolatry was to spread everywhere? So I've calculated with that reference, why has Allah just mentioned Noah to have been aged five, 950 years while it has left all mention of every other prophet? So with reference to Noah and with reference to Abraham, God has solved this riddle. If you can contemplate, you will find out that Hazrat Abraham was given his Sharia after 60 years. And prior to it, Kana min Shiyatahi Ibrahim, the Holy Quran says, Ibrahim, Ibrahim was a follower of Noah. While well, after 60 years he was not a follower of anybody. He had his own Sharia and people followed him. So the Quran is a fantastic book. You should go deeper into its meaning and then you discover things. Satisfied? Yes. Good.